Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now today we're going to be looking at these two modern recreations of some much sought after vintage Star Wars figures. They are the Yak Face on the left and the Blue Snaggletooth on the right. Now these are figures that many collectors want to get into their Star Wars collections but they're often hard to come by and often very pricey. So these are recreations by Smith Lord Creations and they are very high quality modern versions of these old figures. The Yak Face comes with two different versions of a card back. You can see here we have the Tri-Logo version and then the Power of the Force version and the blue Snaggletooth on the right comes with a custom card back which is on a Star Wars card because this figure was never actually released on a card. So let's take a closer look at the Yak Face and we'll review the figure, do some comparisons to a vintage Yak Face and check out both the card backs. So here we have the uh, Yak Face. On the left is the modern version from Smith Lord Creations. And on the right here we have uh, my vintage one from my own personal collection. So let's take a closer look at this modern version. You can see here that the detailing on the uh, sculpt and that is still very, very good. You can see a nice lot of sculpting there and detailing on that Yak Face's head. If we move down to his chest, he's got nice little sort of fluffy details there on the front. And again, all of the folds and stuff and uh, sort of extra details on the clothing and go down to the boots as well. Nice. Uh, sort of bit of molding there. Uh, the main difference between this yak face and the vintage original one is the fact that on the back of it, if we can get that to focus there, you can see that the copyright information has been removed and it now says SLC there, which stands for Smith Lord Creation. So if you're worried about these being sort of uh, mixed in with uh, vintage figures and people being sort of uh, confused by this, uh, the copyright information is clearly different on the back. In fact, let me bring in my original one here so you can see this is my original one and it clearly says on there uh, copyright LFL 1985. So that's the Lucasfilm limited copyright markers there. And then we can see the modern one there has SLC. But if we hold these two side by side, you'll see how accurate uh, this modern version is. The detailing is pretty much identical. In fact, it would be very hard to tell these two apart if it wasn't for the copyright information. I would have to say, as a minor detail, I think the vintage head is slightly wider. This uh, modern head just a little bit thinner. You can see they're just a bit on his nose actually that is just slightly thinner but it really is a very minor difference. Otherwise the paint schemes are pretty identical. There's obviously not a lot of paint on this figure it's just sort of the eyes and a little bit of detailing around the top there. Uh, the hands on mine are actually a bit of a lighter colour. I think that's because my figure here is actually quite sort of sun damaged. You can see this is my vintage figure. It's got quite a lot of wear and tear to it so I'm having to say it's probably my vintage figure is a little bit damaged compared to if you had a really nice sort of mint version but uh, it's a very good uh, recreation it'd be hard push to tell that that wasn't a vintage one which is going to be nice and when I put that on display with my other figures you won't notice there's much difference to it. Yak Face has the same articulation that the vintage figures have so you can rotate his head all the way around his arms rotate and his legs also pivot as well and the holes in the bottom are the same size so if you use these vintage stands those will fit and it will work just as well as it does with all of the other vintage figures. He also comes with his axe or vibro weapon or whatever they wanted to call these. These are sort of skiff guard uh, sticks as you can see that again looks much like the original. I don't actually have an original one of these in my collection. It's one weapon that I've never managed to find so uh, to me that looks really good. It feels the same, it has the same sort of flex to it and it does fit very nicely in his hand so it displays well doesn't actually fall out of his hand like some weapons do. Yak Face is also available with the two different versions of the card back. Uh, he was released originally on this Power of the Force card back which has the collector's coin there. Uh, if you've watched my previous video on the uh, Luke in Stormtrooper disguise you'll see the quality of the coins in that video. I don't actually have a loose coin to show you but you can just see the front of it there. And the card itself is really nicely detailed. Very good quality print on it and the uh, figure is stuck on again much like the original ones, you can see the sort of the detailing and the way that the uh, bubble is uh, stuck to the back of the card. It's very good. Now this Power of the Force card uh, is the version of the Yak Face which comes with the weapon. So you can see there his uh, skiff stick there. Uh, the Tri-Logo version of the card doesn't actually come with a weapon and that is how it was uh, when these were originally released. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the back of this card because again some people think might think that uh, this card will be used to sort of uh, con people into thinking this is a vintage one but this again is clearly marked if we turn this over you can see on the back above the uh, proof of purchase it does say Smith Law Creation so it's very easy to see that this is a reproduction card otherwise it does have all the details on the back so you can see collect all 92 in various languages and shows 
all of the figures. It's just a very nicely printed card, good quality all round. And then we have a look at the Tri Logo card. Again, same sort of detail. So we've got the, the three logos on the top there. Nice lot of uh, sort of detail in the print, very good quality print. Uh, this is the one without the weapon, as I said, so you just get the loose figure in there. We turn it over. Again, on the back of the card, it is clearly marked as Smith Law Creation. So if you're worried about that, it really is quite an obvious thing to see. And actually with all of these Tri-Logo cards, generally they're pretty crushed and damaged if you've got a vintage original one. So to have a card with this sort of nice mint quality bubble would be highly unusual. So I think that would be a very clear giveaway if you were worried about that sort of thing. But I think these uh, cards are lovely. The quality of them is really fantastic. And it does actually put Hasbro to shame because I have here one of the uh, modern sort of retro collection figures that Hasbro has been producing recently. And the quality of these cards is really terrible. They're really flimsy. There's absolutely no weight to them. I don't like this sort of fake sort of uh, aging that they've added to the edge of the card and all of the extra sort of bits of warning information. I know they have to add these for modern figures, but it just sort of is detrimental to the quality of them. So if you compare this modern Hasbro card to this uh, modern uh, Yak Face card, uh, these ones are just so much nicer. They feel so much more like a vintage toy. It's just got the right feel and the right weight to it. This uh, Hasbro one is very flimsy and just really sort of poor quality. And again, on the back of it, you've got absolutely no information. It's just a sort of a very sort of basic card. And the fact they've actually stuck the uh, little uh, tab hole there through the Star Wars logo shows a sort of lack of thinking about what they're going to be doing. It's uh, just a bit of a poor quality cards. So I think these uh, modern ones from uh, Smith Law Creations are much nicer. It's got much more going for them. Now we can move on to the blue Snaggletooth. As you can see here, again, this figure has got a great amount of detail to it. The uh, casting and quality of the plastic really does match the vintage style and feel of the figures. Now I don't actually have an original blue Snaggletooth to compare this with because it's one I've never managed to get in my collection. So we can just compare it to my red Snaggletooth, which is much the same. The upper body and the head are the same sort of uh, detailing and you can see there the, the sort of the lines and stuff on the arms have really come across well. Uh, the, only, the main difference between these ones is obviously it's in a blue plastic rather than a red plastic and he's got short little stubby legs. The paint application again is very nice and even. These uh, early figures didn't have a great deal of paint added to them. This guy's got some silver boots, a bit of a black belt there with some extra silver detailing and in his face you can see just a little bit of detailing on there with his one little snaggle tooth. So let's bring up uh, my small one here so you can see again looks much the same and very sort of similar quality to uh, the way these paint applications have been applied to the figures and he does feel the right sort of weight to uh, these the vintage figures they do have a certain sort of texture and quality to them and this uh, does feel very nice you can see the also the arms move incredibly sort of freely much like the original figures we can rotate his head there and again yeah, feels exactly like an original figure would have done back in the day. Again, on this one, if we turn it around, you can see the copyright information has been changed to say SLC on the back. So that stands for Smith Lord Creations, which clearly defines it as a reproduction. So I don't think anyone should be worried if they were picking one of these up and thinking this was an original. Now, the blue Snaggletooth was never available on a card back. So Chris has created this custom Star Wars era card back. So on the front, you can see we have Snaggletooth there in a blue outfit. The figure, again, is nicely attached with a blister. It looks like it's been attached to the card in the same sort of way the vintage figures would have been. His blaster is loose in the bottom there and he's got a nice bit of yellow card there like the original figures would have had at the base of the feet. But this is a custom card because as I think this one was never released like this. If we turn the card over you can see this is a 21 back card and again if we look at the bottom you can see it clearly does say Smith Lord Creations there just where all of the copyright and other information is at the bottom. So even if you were confused to think that this figure had come on a vintage card which it never did there's clearly some copyright information on the back just so that you can make sure that this is a modern reproduction but it just looks really nice and it's certainly going to be something that a lot of people will be wanting in their collections to have this figure on a card back just because it looks so nice very good quality again really nice print quality 
I have to say, I think Smith Law Creations has done a remarkable job on creating these figures. They really do look and feel just like the vintage figures do. Uh, they've just got that right sort of weight and quality to them. And the, the way you move the arms just feels like I did when I was a child moving Star Wars figures around. So they really do have a sort of excellent quality to them. As I say, there are three versions of these available. I will put links to where you can find all of them uh, in the description of this video. And there's also a Facebook page where you can check out all the new things that Smith Law Creations are working on. So uh, make sure you go and check that out. I hope this video has been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.